So far we have seen the basics of refraction of light and some related concepts and terminology. Now we are going to look at an analogy that helps us get some insight into it. So instead of beam of light, let us take a column of soldiers shown by this array of yellow dots. And just like this incident ray, we will make them march in this direction. In place of the two optical media, we have these two marching surfaces. So here is hard concrete and here is slippery mud. And then just like the speed of light differs in two media, the marching speed also would differ. It will be more on concrete and less on mud. Now this group of soldiers is going to be so well trained that they will be able to march in a straight line without disturbing their ranks and columns even when they are blindfolded. So here is our initial position where the very first soldier of this marching column is about to step on the mud. So let us fast forward a few steps. So this soldier has already walked on mud. And you can see he has covered lesser distance than his neighbor over here who was marching on concrete. And this is quite like two wheels of a car, one wheel turning less than the other. And we all know this causes the car to take a turn. And you can see even here uh, the rank of this column is somewhat broken. It has bent and so has the file. Uh, now you might think why the soldier has taken a turn. Well, when he stepped on the mud, one foot on the mud would cover a shorter stride than the other foot on concrete. And even the soldier himself will be take, facing in a different direction. And uh, this trend continues. More and more soldiers keep stepping onto the mud and moving slower. And uh, this makes the whole column deviate from its original direction. Now mind you, they are still well-trained, disciplined soldiers. So you can see they have uh, retained ranks and files. But the distance or the pitch has changed somewhat. And this is quite similar to what happens to light when it changes from one medium to another. Now what we just saw is not just a superficial visual analogy, but it runs a little deeper. And therefore, we are going to stretch it a little further. So let us think of how a soldier can march slower than the rest of the column. Is he breaking the step or is he getting out of step with his fellow soldiers? No. He is still following the same beat of drums. So the rhythm of marching has not changed. But the strides can be altered and thereby speed can be changed. So what he is doing is he is taking shorter steps and thereby slowing down. Light does exactly the same thing. But what is rhythm of marching for light? And what is uh, length of stride for light? Well, the parallels are the rhythm of marching is like frequency of light. And the length of the step or the strides is like the wavelength of light. So just like the soldier keeps the rhythm and alters the stride, light waves keep their frequency but alter their wavelength when they get refracted as they cross over from one medium into another. And in fact, this analogy of frequency is equal to rhythm and wavelength equal to stride also applies to the expressions for speed. For example, speed of marching will be the number of strides a person takes per unit time multiplied by the length of each stride. While in case of light, the expression is frequency multiplied by wavelength which exactly matches the analogy that we were talking about so far.